Hello friends welcome to my channel Shuboda on the wheels In today's video I am going to share with you my experience in amazing Bhutan where we have spent 5 nights and 6 days Before I proceed further request you to please like subscribe to my channel for more updates Bhutan is a tiny and remote kingdom nestling in the Himalayas between its powerful neighbors India and China. Bhutan is also known as the land of the thunder dragon because of the fierce storms that often roll in from the Himalayas. Takin is the national animal of Bhutan which is a hybrid of goat and yak. Bhutan truly is a land of breathtaking far-reaching mountain views, terraced farmland, dramatic river valleys and glittering streams of people who are never in a hurry but are full of life. Our journey began in Thimphu, the capital of Bhutan. And by the time we reached Thimphu, It was pretty late. From our hotel, Silver Line Boutique, the mystic mountains, verdant valleys, and the vibrant road was clearly visible. going inside silver pine boutique which is located just next to the thimphu welcome gate it is definitely among best hotels in thimphu and a popular choice for many travelers like us who come to bhutan in search of peace and bliss the hotel exhibits exquisite decor and artworks which adds more grandeur to the lavish compound Our hotel is usually located just near to Welcome Gate, and it's very good spot as compared to other hotel. We compare, we consider the hotel as a good one, and we insist every guest to visit here because the sight scene, especially here, is very good. The view, the there's free parking space, and it is between two narrow hill. The location is very good, and in our hotel we have total of thirty six rooms. window this side and we also have a window that side so i'll just show it to you from this side this is like the front window that we are having and yes this is the wonderful part of our room i would say because this is exactly exhibiting the mountains and the view of the timpu city and you can see it's like the gate is there the roads the cars vehicles everything is just passing by and uh, outside if you see that's the most beautiful uh, view i would say um that we are getting here um and i am lucky that you know we have got this room primarily yeah i mean it is actually giving us the complete view this is late night so right now things are not that clear but of course the night view is what i can show you right now
Hi friends, uh, so I have Nawa with me right now and um, he is basically our guide. So he is going to tell you something about uh, Bhutan and Timbu. So yes, over to you Nawa. Hello, I am Mahon Tenzin, a guide from Bhutan. So basically Bhutan is a small country in between China and uh, in India. So it's a small country is crushed in between two large countries, China and India. And Bhutan, as of now, has been an independent country since before. And for information, Bhutan has been ruled by kings till now. And right now, the king, we have the fifth king in Bhutan, as well as it is a democratic country where we have a prime minister. So the prime ministers are always Prime ministers are elected every five years, and then those are the people selected by the people. And the king himself gave the, gave the order for the democracy. It was the blessing from the king to the people of Bhutan. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Nawab. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Hello friends, so Akon Tomander can be welcome Kochi to Timpu City. Pechone Tumra Dekte Pacho, it's written, the gate is there, welcome to Timpu City. But to the Dekhanite Paro Silver Pine Boutique, that's our resort. Ekhani Amra Chi Amraki, last two days, Achri Wachi Ekhani. And primarily, Dekhte to the location, if you see, location the Kuk Shundor at the mountain at the opposite. And Primarily Bhutan and to be more precise, Timbu is the capital of Bhutan. And um, a couple of important things I would like to share with you all. Um, Bhutan is one place or rather one country, Jeta Hoche Agdom Carbon Negative Country. Also, secondly, um, this is one country Jekhane traffic signals are not used at all. Pono nay, traffic signal nay, lights nay, Agdom. Also, um, another important aspect is that there is a complete ban of plastics. People are very disciplined here and um, very cultured, like a good bhalo behavior, I would say. It's very clean city, well maintained. And also right now, Boledi um, Tomadar ke timing is 9.30 in the morning and uh, it's very cold here. Akon uh, primarily temperature is 3 degrees C. Rate agdo minus 2, minus 3 hoi jache. But not to worry, inside the hotel we have uh, uh, heaters as well. So sheta kono problem noi. And uh, I guess this is what uh, the information I can share as of now. Again, I'll get back to you. Bye-bye. So finally we reached Wanka Waterfalls, which is the confluence of two rivers of Bhutan, Timpuchu and Parochu, making it a perfect photography location. The water looked bright and bluish and the roaring sound further enhanced the excitement. A spectacular rainbow effect was seen near the waterfalls which was caused by the refraction of light through water droplets. So right now we are at Punakha and I'm going to show you uh, the view here. 
here we have the pochu that is the male and mochu that is the female river in the punaka valley so when planning your bhutan trip one destination that should undoubtedly be on your list is punaka zong traditional punakha bridge which is basically also known as pazam um here if you see this side there's the um fort or the monastery you can say that's there and uh, this side lovely view Well this river is believed to symbolize the harmonious union of the masculine and feminine forces. Dekhata hai is signal rasta dekhata hai ki ek QR code bhi hai okay wo rasta dikha dega we we of ट्रेल है ना ये देखो सर इधर लिखा है क्रॉस बटन ट्रेल बुक वेरी गुड हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो राइट नाउ वी हैव कम टू दिस सस्पेंशन ब्रिज यू कैन सी द ब्रिज दिस साइड एंड हियर इफ यू सी आई विल शो यू the view first and then i'll be showing you the flags here if you see in the suspension bridge you will see different color flags are here which are basically known as lungta and uh, this is also known as wings of fire so basically uh, the different colors of the flags they basically represent the five elements that we have like earth water etc and uh, these basically these flags um, depicts good luck so that's why these flags are famous for and you can see all the colors green red white yellow blue all the colors are here and this is the suspension bridge you can have the view of the suspension bridge beautiful bridge is here and here the river is flowing so the sun is also pretty bright right now Right now, the timing here is approximately 1 p.m. Hello, friends. So right now, uh, we have reached Buddha Point. You can see the Buddha statue, which is like pretty huge. and uh, we are actually 8000 feet above so the altitude is also pretty high you can see the mountain ranges here uh, also right now the timing is 10 uh, am a bhutan timing and it's uh, 4 degree temperature it's pretty cold shivering but uh, the weather is very beautiful and there is this amazing view and uh, the buddha looks absolutely stunning i would say this is the clock tower square which is an example of a great architectural marvel it is a tower with four clock faces which makes it different from any other building or structure in bhutan this is the memorial chotin which stands as a revered landmark in thimphu bhutan emanating a sense of spiritual calm surrounded by prayer wheels and dedicated worshipers from across the world I must say that apart from its enriching spirituality and strong Buddhist beliefs Bhutan is home to dramatic landscapes ancient monasteries and zones here's why Bhutan is the happiness capital of the world definitely bringing a smile to all the people visiting Bhutan for more such amazing videos please like share and subscribe my channel shubodha on the wheels